A customer service is really one of the key ways that we differentiate ourselves from other skilled nursing facilities. And we've studied companies like Disney, The Four Seasons, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, Nordstrom. But the one that we really focused on the most and that we really spent the most time studying uh, was the Ritz-Carlton. And we've tried very hard to turn ourselves into the Ritz-Carlton of long-term care. Everything from using the Secret Service radios to help our staff communicate more efficiently, to utilizing uniforms in our facilities to present a much more professional type of a look, to implementing different types of training programs to help our staff understand how to address a patient in a way that the patient can appreciate. Working with other companies, you're a therapist, you're given your patient caseload, you go and treat the patients, of course you do it clinically, but there isn't really that emphasis on the cultural piece of it, and by that I mean how to interact with the patients and their families, how to really provide that customer service. And we actually have a definition for service. Each letter in service stands for something. So the S is for smile. You always want to smile. Anytime somebody comes into the facility, you smile at them. E is for eye contact. You must make that eye contact with people as you're smiling. R is for recognition. You recognize them. You say hello to them. V is for voice. You make sure they hear you as you are saying your hello and greeting them. I stands for integrity. Integrity is basically having sincerity and honesty in how you approach your care and the patient care. C stands for call lights. When a patient has a need, they use this thing called a call light. Basically, they push this button and this light goes off outside the room and that's how the nurses know that the patient has a need. And we have a policy that call lights must be answered immediately. And E stands for everyone. That means everyone upholds the service definition. So the person who works in the kitchen, the dietary aide who is delivering a tray out to a patient in the hallway, he will smile, make eye contact, and recognize the person he is greeting in the hallway. We'll focus on what their needs are, try to make it as comfortable and happy an environment for them as long as they're away from home until they can get back there. And therefore, when you talk to them, you hold their hand, or you just ask how their day is doing, it means a lot to them. They're always telling us, we love this place, it's so nice, everybody's willing to answer your questions or you know, help you out with whatever they might need. Even just smiling. <laughs> Smiles are very important. It makes a person not feel so intimidated when they're maybe approaching you to ask you a question or anything like that. Even just to walk down the hall, just make them feel comfortable, make them feel like they're in a happier place, especially since they're not at home. We put a lot of emphasis in culture and how we are able to develop a lifestyle in our facilities that would best exude the way we care for our patients.